Now let's take a look at the components that make up a coax system. It's really basic, it's real similar to the IP. You've got your, your camera, and instead of a, a network fitting, it's got a BNC fitting on it. You've got your coax cable, which is Siamese. You got your power here and your BNC connection there. You know it's RG59 because you can see how thick the cable is. Then you've got your video recorder with your hard drive in it. These are the BNC video inputs that, for this video recorder. So the system basically consists of connect the camera to the video fitting on the cable, connect the power, Whoops, I got it on the wrong end. That's another safety tip. I almost forgot about that. You do, <laughs> there is a, an NVR end and a camera end uh, on the cable. And don't pull them backwards. We've had some customers do that. And it is marked on here, but you got to pay attention to it. So once you get the camera end of the uh, Siamese ca cable, you connect the video together. Then you connect the power together. Boom. That part's done. Back at the video recorder, you take your video input and you plug it into one of the video inputs on the recorder. It slides in and then it turns 180 and you're done. But now what do you do with this uh, power connector right here? Answer is you have a plug-in power supply. This goes to uh, the wall. And this right here will power one camera. And you are now done wiring the system. Now, just a side note here, this power supply, if you add this multi-power cable here, you can power four cameras off the same power supply. So if this was a four camera system or an eight camera system, you'd have two of these powering the cameras. Now out of the video recorder, you come into your monitor and you connect them with an HDMI cable. That's how you get 4K from the recorder to the monitor. That's how you set up a coax-based system. Coax-based systems provide the same remote viewing capabilities as IP-based systems. This is where you change cable. From the video recorder, there's a network connection and you simply plug a network cable into that. And then the network cable plugs into your internet modem. And that link right there is what gives you your remote viewing or viewing through a home computer that's connected to your network or the Wi-Fi. This is also the connection for smartphone viewing anywhere you are, as long as you have good signal. That's it.